right, so we need to find the rate of change of the area for A. And we're given the length and the width, the, and they're 12 and 5. And we're given the length decreases at 2 centimeters per second, and the width increases at 2 centimeters per second. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So we're finding the rate of change, so we need to find the derivative, basically. So dA dt, you do product rule, which is the first one, L, times derivative of the second one, which is just 1. We have to multiply it by dW dt, plus the second one, times derivative of the first one, which is just 1 dL dt. And you simplify it and you get L dW dt plus W dL dt. And you go back to what you're given. So you plug in L, which is 12, the length. Then the dW dt is the rate of which the width changes. And we're given it increases by 2, so it's just positive 2. And you get plus 5, which is the width. And you get times the rate of change of the length, which is decreasing by 2. So it's a negative 2. And that just equals 14 centimeters per second, which is the rate of change for the area. And over here we got B, which you find the perimeter, the rate of change for the perimeter. And the perimeter area is 2L plus 2W. And so once again, you find the derivative basically, and do the derivative of 2L would just be 2 dl dt. And then same thing for 2W, 2 dw dt. So now all you do from here is plug numbers in. The dl dt is the the rate of change for the length, which is 2, or which is negative 2, and then, well, it's actually positive 2. And this is negative 2. So you're going to rate of change, you do 2 times 2, and you do 2 times the rate of change for the width, which is positive 2. And then you do this and it equals 0 centimeters per second, which means the perimeter doesn't change, because if the width increases by 2 in length, yeah. Then you're on C. And you have to find the uh, rate of change for the diagonal. So I drew out the rectangle here. And I call this A and this B and this is C squared. So if you go here, we know Pythagorean's theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And you take the square root of that and it equals 13. So we found that C is 13, which is the diagonal. So we went here, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And you find the rate of change. So you find the derivative. We have 2a, there's 2a dA dt, and derivative of that is basically the same thing, 2b db dt, and derivative of c squared is 2c dc dt. And you get that, you just plug in the numbers. a, which is the, it's the width, you plug in 5, the, the rate of change is 2. Same thing for b, you plug in the numbers, b is the length, you plug in 12, and the rate of change is negative 2. And we found C is 13, so you plug that in, and you're just trying to solve for the rate of change for the diagonal. So I draw your multiplication, subtraction, and you end up getting this. And you get a number with negative 28, and you divide it by 26 to isolate DC, DT, and you get negative 14 thirds centimeters per second.